So this is um, a pilot group, so we're running it for eight weeks just to see how it goes. And it's a nature-based art group. And it's for people that have had strokes and carers if they want to come along as well. Um, and we just, we thought we'd try it and see how it goes. And people are really enjoying it. So everyone there has had a stroke and they just support each other in the best way that they can. And we've got um, tools to help people that with aphasia, communication disability. To, to join in and choose what paints they want, things like that. The impact it's had on people that have come in is that they started off thinking that they couldn't do art. One or two thought that they were okay at art, but the others said, oh, we're, we're no good at art, you know. But they've actually grown in confidence since they've been coming. This is only the seventh session. And they just, as soon as they come in, they've had a busy morning and they calm right down and they just are more confident to get on with their stuff. And the people with aphasia that can't speak, they use our communication chart now and they can tell us what colours they want, if they want the rubber, things like that. So yeah, they've just got more confident. I work with Corinne and her team to look at different ways we can inspire people to take part in the world after uh, they've had the trauma of a stroke and to um, find purpose in their daily life and also to restore a sense of confidence, health and well-being and uh, do things that interest them, that keep them busy and build, build those good things that we need people to build. So Corinne set up this art group. Um, we, uh, we ran a couple of days for the group last summer where we uh, saw how interested people were in looking at nature and, um, and painting and drawing, even perhaps if they hadn't ever done anything like that before. And it's about taking the time to do it um, together. And there's something lovely about having an activity while you're side by side with people who you've got commonality with, so that you're not face to face all the time having to talk to people. People generally are much more relaxed and happy when they're side by side doing something while they chat. And um, the art is, you know, a very lovely and therapeutic way to bring people together. And you can talk about what you're doing as well as your, your issues and your problems and the things that you're thinking about. Um, at other times and um, and perhaps even just stop thinking about those things and do something that's very much about your sort of hand-to-eye coordination rather than what's going on in your head um, and just now we've had a lovely conversation around the subject of art through childhood we were talking about what it was like to draw as a child and where our interest in art perhaps came from or even when somewhere in, at some point in our lives where we decided we weren't going to do that and now we're sort of having another look at perhaps the, the, the benefits of being artistic and just picking up lovely things and doing something with them. The way that I kind of work with people both in this group and in, in other, other projects that I've worked on is very much about um, it's about the people who come to the group and it's about them um, leading what happens there really. Uh, although we obviously give it a bit of a framework like this one is um, about it's about making art related to nature is the kind of hook that we have hung it on. The bottom line is that the thing that people get out of coming to a group like that is being with other people um, and it's other people who might have similar issues or they might have you know different issues or they might, you know, they, they have um, different experiences in life and I think it's just, you know, it's an opportunity for people to come together. The group has had a very positive effect on my life, I would say. Lots of different ways, okay, because first thing I suppose gives me something in the week to go to and come to where I know there'll be other people who have also had like brain injuries, uh, heart attacks, strokes, things like that, because I've had a brain injury. Um, and it's nice actually to meet other people, to know you're not the only one who is like, you know, wandering blindly around the room and having problems. So it's nice to meet people like, it's nice to do that from that point. But also it's nice to do, I love messing about with paints. And actually, I mean, 
I mean, credit to him, the, the guy who's teaching all this, he's very patient, he doesn't mind me. I mean, I've got no talent at all, I can't paint to save my life, but he doesn't like look at my work and say it's a load of rubbish for Nicky, you know. He's very kind, and you see, it does, it, it gives you, gives me anyway, focus and, um, yeah, somewhere to go, something to look forward to all week. So this is David and um, he's been coming to our art group for seven weeks now and I actually knew him before through a, a friend yeah. um, and I met him at another stroke group so I asked him if he'd like to come along so he's he's been coming every week for seven weeks now um, and you seem to be enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. And David's got aphasia so it, it's difficult for him to go to a tea and chat group where you know he can say yes and no and a few other things but it's difficult for you, isn't it, to, to sit and have a regular conversation. Yeah. So he needs people around him that understand aphasia and can, can have a conversation, but in, with yes, no responses, mm. rather than asking, oh, what did you have for tea? Yeah. And he's like, well, I can't tell you. I, if you ask me if I had eggs, I can say mm. yes or no. So, um, so do you find the coming to the art group relaxing because yeah. you're not under pressure yeah. to to yeah. try and converse yeah. Yeah. okay yeah yeah and is it good being around other people that have had strokes yeah <laughs> and the other people that have got different levels of aphasia yeah yeah yeah. Um, yeah and and sometimes you get people that don't quite get what your difficulties are mm. but you seem to be really calm about that and just get on with it yeah and um and your wife comes and then she goes off into town, doesn't yeah, she? So yeah, she? Yeah, She gets a nice little trip yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.